guys, Chris from Chris's Treasure Chest. This is video number two of the weekend. I hope you enjoyed my um, one yesterday about going to U-Haul, finding out where I picked up my packing supplies. Um, and the six things I picked, uh, I, uh, I picked yesterday. So, um, yeah, so that was good. Now, like I promised, I'm going to do a summary of some top items I sold in November. They're not going to be in any particular order. I'm just picking items that I think you will be interested in to see what I paid and what I sold them for. So let's uh, hit pause on this camera. I'm going to get on my other camera on my computer and we're going to continue the video. Okay guys, here we go. I'm going to show you, I picked uh, about 10 items I think um, that would uh, interest you that uh, I bought and resold. Um, Here's the first one. Here is that Moran's Model 5220 cassette tape deck. Um, can't remember. I would have it two weeks, I think. Paid 100 for it, and I sold it for 4.99. Very happy about this. Um, it sold on the last day of the month, which really, really helped my numbers at the end. Very hard to find, guys, in this shape. Um, Moran's Macintosh. Um, Sansui, those are the ones you really want to find. Um, you know, old Pioneers are good, Yamahas, uh, but very, very, very hard to find. And I'll show you another one I sold, but not for this type of money. And it's a different brand, so uh, when we get there. This is interesting. This is the Miracle Piano Teaching System. Um, came out in the 90s, I think. Um, they made a ver version for Super Nintendo, Super NES, or regular Nintendo, Super NES, um, and then there was a PC version. This one, I think, was the PC version. You hooked it up to your, uh, uh, to your computer, and it came a bunch of programs. I didn't have any of the software. All I had was the keyboard, the hookup uh, cables, uh, the carrying bag, and the power source. Uh, but I learned a little bit about it, and... Um, I had it up as high as 129, 130, and I and I got it. For, I got 80 for it. So um, I think I picked it up for 20 bucks, less 30 at Value Village. All right, uh, here's the the Bond Elite knitting machine uh, that I found. I paid 4.99 for guys. Um, it, I thought it was brand new. After I did the video, I opened it up. It was miss, missing the VHS and the instruction manual. So I couldn't relate the parts to the manual to find out if everything was there. Anyways, um, I didn't sell it for $119. I think I sold it for $85 um, plus shipping. Uh, it, it was a best offer deal. So um, yeah, the, person, the lady got it in the States and she's very, very happy with it. There was also something I learned. There was uh, weighted hems inside. Those are an option for this unit. Um, it doesn't come with it, so um, yeah, I, I I would love to find one more of these. They're really good money makers and they sell fast. This is the second one I found of this the Champion Juicer G5 NG 853S. It's a one third horsepower heavy duty uh, juicer, uh, more of an industrial one. It was missing a couple of parts at the top here. There was a little bit of a um, a lip or a funnel and uh, there was one more attachment it didn't have. Um, if you have the whole thing with the manual, you can get up to 200 bucks. Uh, I think we, we sold this for around 85. I know I paid for around 14 for it. So there's good money there, good margin. Here's one of the Toshiba DVD video recorders that I had. Um, sold this earlier in the month. This one was nice and clean. Uh, came with the uh, remote control, basically looked brand new. Uh, we tested it, it worked great, and we got $70 for it plus shipping. Remember, everything I sell, guys, I do not have free shipping on. Everything, the buyer, plays, the, buy, the buyer pays for the shipping. It's always been like that. This one's interesting. I've had this, this was in my garage. This is one of the earlier videos I did last, maybe middle of last year or late last year. Um, one of the keys was broken key number 12 it was a, a electric organ uh, this is made in a company uh, Magnus in, the, in New Jersey in the United States um, I had it in my garage I, th I don't remember what I paid for it guys I'd have to rewatch that video maybe as high as 20 um, but um, I did get 64 I unloaded it got rid of it. this was heavy uh, I think the shipping alone was like 
60 bucks on it because of the weight and the size. Um, this here is, uh, oh, here's another receiver. See, not as good as, as the, the first one. Um, I think I paid 29 bucks for it. I've had this up as high as 120, 130, down to 80, 90. I couldn't get rid of it. So, um, there was nothing wrong with it. It worked great. Um, well, except for one of the light bulbs, I think, on the left side didn't light up. But, uh, I took 64. I made a little bit of money off of shipping and I got it out of, in my inventory. It was about time, right? Here's a lot. I picked these up, all of them, for about $10. Um, and what I did, I sold them as a lot. And, and I, I like selling sets like this if I find them as a lot. Um, and um, it's just, it sells, they sell a lot faster. And um, I think I had 15 bucks on all of them. And I sold them for, um, I sold them for 50 near the end of the month. So, and they were in good shape. This one down here, that one there, uh, that box there had a little bit of wear, but anyways, it was still good. This here, remember I keep showing you the treasure, the treasure chest or the whatever it's called out in Burlington. Uh, I showed in my video yesterday. This is where I got these. I picked these up for 15 bucks, brand new sealed. Um, this is what I like buying out of that store because I can make good money. I sold this one for 50. I've got a few other ones that are still listed. Uh, what did this one sell? Middle of the month, November 18th. And finally, um, this thing was brand new, open box. I, I don't even think it was used. Um, I've got another one. Same, it's really weird. Same model, DVD 1080p7. Uh, same thing in the box, brand new. I bought it at the same thrift store a month apart. So I don't know if somebody worked for Samsung or or they got them as gifts. I don't know. Um, and I have the other one sale for the same price. This sold uh, on November 10th, no problems. Uh, this one got a little bit delayed in the uh, Canada Post Strike. It was on its way to Calgary. And I don't think it's still there. So uh, I shipped that out probably the next day, November 11th. And we're a month away. So it did take a little while. But that's it, guys. I'm going to turn the camera around and uh, we'll uh, close this video down. All right? Hey, guys. That, there you go. You have it. There's the uh, bit of a summary for uh, November. Um, it was a decent month. Uh, sales were not to the 10,000 that I wish I would have, uh, but uh, I'm not going to tell you. It's, uh, like I said, those numbers I don't broadcast on YouTube. But um, did very, very well. Um, as you can see, a lot of very nice items with some decent margin. Um, I keep telling you guys in my videos, when you first start out on this business, it takes a while to build your capital. When you have enough capital, don't be afraid to invest your money in those types of items. Um, that's where you start getting to start to make three, four, five, six thousand a month with that type of uh, inventory. Anyways, guys, this is it. This is the last the stretch going into Christmas. Uh, keep listing, list, list, lists, try to sell, sell, sell. Um, and uh, I hope to post some more videos before Christmas and uh, it will be for sure between um, Christmas and New Year's. Uh, my regular job, I, my last day is the 13th, so from the 14th to the 1st, I will be doing just eBay and YouTube videos. So uh, I'll be busy doing a lot of them with you. So anyways, guys, if you like the video, big thumbs up. Um, please subscribe if you're not a subscriber. Um, please comments below thank you I've been receiving a lot on my Facebook now uh, and on my email as well as on YouTube which is fantastic I really appreciate it I think this is video 90 10 more and I'll have a hundred videos in just over two years on YouTube which I thought I would never get there uh, but that's truly amazing all right guys I'll put the logo right over here uh, and I'll put up another uh, one of my videos here if you've uh, for you to watch uh, once this one's done, if you care to do so. Anyways, guys, Chris from Chris's Treasure Chest, enjoy your evening.